which is really the kind of front of house, uh, customer and operational areas. You'll notice um, up uh, across the very top of the hangar is a bridge that connects the, um, the, the, uh, the west side of the building to the east side of the building. Um, this is a construction zone right now because we are unveiling today the level one, the first phase we fit out um, to you all, but there's some top secret stuff happening up there uh, that we can't unveil until our customers see it for the first time. Uh, so we're actively, actively working up there. You'll have to look forward to coming back on it another trip uh, for them. Um, but again, the whole ethos of the building is basically having windows pretty much everywhere so that everybody gets to be... So I'm just going to hold you there just for one second, or well, probably a little more than one second. Um, but as you can see here, there's various things that become immediately apparent as you come through that amazing, amazing opening into this space. The first one is the amazing landscape that we see behind us. Um, you know, it's a beautiful part of the reference to the location. Dan's already talked about the importance of the location, the history. But of course, your experience now as future astronauts is just layering up those additional elements of history and the importance of this location and introducing space uh, commercially. So we've got a wonderful uh, opportunity here uh, to really express what the, what the culmination of this training has been before uh, we take you over to uh, Spaceship Unity, which is going to be held at the southern end of the, of the uh, runway there. We've all we're already seen... Racial braking, so basically they tap on one set of brakes uh, to slow that side down and the other side will, will rotate around. So uh, they'll do a really good job of tracking the center line, but you might see just a little bit of wiggle as she comes at us. And the other cool feature about this taxiway is at some point, take a look at the building behind you and it acts like a mirror. And so the pilots actually can look ahead in the mirror uh, and they usually are able to taxi them pretty straight because they've got a great reflection in front of them. the vehicle so all that uh, information off the vehicle is collected uh, turn into ones and zeros and it comes down to us and we translate them into these screens and so making that happen getting those ones and zeros down here via the telemetry signal uh, and getting that information decoding and putting in the screens uh, can be a bit of a challenge initially we've had uh, really great success the team has done a good job getting the room ready and the flight today we had solid TM right from the time that we taxied all the way through until the time we landed um, and were able to get good information to share it with the pilots. They were able to talk to us. Uh, the room worked really well today. I'm, I'm really excited for... Uh, what altitude the, did you hit today? Uh, in excess of 50,000 feet. Which is the... Well, we're going to be doing a, additional testing in the future, some glide testing. Um, so, and the, that's kind of 
one of the uh, altitudes that White Knight 2 is capable of flying to, so the pilots were up there. Um, we were experimenting, we're not experimenting, we were practicing the, one of the two different routes that we're going to use when we fly spaceships, so uh, the pilot's getting used to what the airspace looks like, looking at geographical landmarks on the ground, looking at timing uh, for what it's going to be after they take off, and uh, uh, we're once again exploring the telemetry so we know when they, when they release, we know that we're going to have good data flow into the control room. And yeah, all of that looked really, really good today. Yeah, we talked about it a little bit um, earlier, but today was really a simulated flight mission for when we have Spaceship here, because a lot of the reasons of us bringing White Knight 2 down early is to do all the checkouts ready for when Spaceship comes and we can complete the flight testing uh, uh, ready for commercial service. And so, um, actually, when we're only flying White Knight 2, you don't need nearly as much of the setup here, but we really wanted to drill it and run it today and make sure that all of the ground and air infrastructure was fully working um, ahead of when Spaceship gets down here as well. Um, we can take like lots more questions later. I'm conscious you need to get to flight brief, um, and we're also going to be pulling the White Knight into the hangar, so we can move over to the bubble too, and um, I just named it, sorry. <laughs> the window to the hangar, um, and watch White Knight 2 come back in, and happy to take more questions over there, but thank you, K9. Certainly. Yeah. <laughs> 